there are so many teachers that would be wonderfully enhanced by using Purple Mesh. It is in this light that I've decided to make a video to show you how to set up tasks for learners to do. I hope you will find the information useful. I'm just going to be showing how to check on learners' work so we can see whether they've handed it in or not. And this will assist teachers to be able to identify how they would mark learners' work in Purple Mash. So I'm going to go to my to-dos. Go to grade 5C, which is the class that I'm teaching at the moment. And we're going to have a good look at the monkey activity, jumping monkey, which the class are currently doing at this exact moment. And here we can see some of the learners who have handed in this bit of work. Morgan, Saladin, Chioma, and Olivia. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go add comment. And I'm going to look at this particular piece of work. And over here, teacher view is going to show me that there's still one of the activities, the last activity needs to be done. So I'm going to type in good work, the, the last activity is still to be done. And then I'm going to ask this learner to redo it. So if I press there, it was not suitably done to redo that particular bit of work. I'm going to go save and next, and here you can see I'm on the second learner. I just want to see what this learner has done. And you can see this learner has done challenge one, challenge two, and challenge three is not yet completed. You can see in this particular instance that Saladin has done three, and there's five activities. You have not completed everything. So please redo this trying to cover all challenges copy that and we're going to give this back to Saladin and we'll go redo to do and that's going back to her for redoing here we go save and next tick tock challenge and we'll have a look and see if anyone in 5c has done that I'm going to open it and we've got Olivia and you can see she's written a large comment with all these stars and things for me overdoing the stars Olivia and then we'll go and we'll have a good look at what she's done and you can see the last challenge still needs to be done I would like the last challenge and I won't ask her to redo it but I'm going to give her a bit of a reward these are given to reward children for good work and you'll see they're almost like certificates add a reward and I'm going to go in effort and we'll go with computing and I'm going to submit that. Okay. And we'll go to close that, save and next. Although Olivia still needed to do one more activity. Here we have Donya and we'll have a good look at what she's done. She's still got quite a bit to do. And we'll ask her to read it. Good work, Morgan. I'm just going to show you how to record an audio clip. Thank you for all your hard work. I think you try really hard and we are very proud of you, Morgan. And that's recording. She'll pick it up on her tablet that I've sent her a message. And let's give her a reward as well important to try find the most appropriate reward after all they should have some basis in the learners work but I'm just gonna go with resourcefulness in computers and now I'm going to the next learner by save and next children's work and here I'm going to demonstrate that I am going to be using the speech recognition so I'll go to Gemma open you can see here's Gemma's work but I'm going to go out of this and go to the comment section and have a look at it from that side. And let's have a look at what she has here. She's done a very good job. Gemma, you have done a marvelous job in this respect. Do keep on working hard. 
I would have liked to see a lot more detail in the activity, the last challenge, where you could make your own. I'll just correct that. Last. Stop listening. I'm adding an appropriate comment. You'll find that speech recognition will assist you if you have to type. So I use it quite a lot. And I'm going to insert that. We've just saved our comment. And we're going to move on to the next learner. So this is where you can move from learner to learner and look at their work, provide your input on how to improve their work. As you press save and next, it'll move from one learner to the next through the list of those learners who've handed in their work. So you'll have to work through that. The stars and emoticons that are similar to what is found in the learner's books. In a minute, I'll show you how to give rewards. This is given for really good work. Rewards are, you'll find really interesting. In this particular case, I'm just going to show you how to go through what the learner has done. You've got this teacher button here, and that shows you all the different challenges that were done by this, this learner. You can go through all the activities and see how the learner answered. Now look what I'm doing over here. I'm playing the learner's work. So I'm playing an activity that the learner did, and I can see that the code is kind of getting stuck. This orange bit of code is indicating that this learner had not got a particular activity right. So if I play the first activity, you can see the challenge is indicated the learner got through it adequately. And then I went to the second activity, which is and over here, it's saying that move the knight right. When the knight reaches the right pillar, make the knight change direction. So this one was incorrect. She did not get it correct. So we need to indicate to her that she must attempt to redo the second challenge. Erin, we need you to redo the second challenge. We notice that you have not done it adequately. And I will go on redo to do. And that's going to post it for her to try a second time. I'm just going to go over the main points that we've covered. You're going to first of all go to your to do's. And that's where you go. So we got the redo button. That's this one over here. And that's for setting, setting work for the children to do a second time. You're going to access this through the red clipboard button at the top. We are seeing the blue over here is indicating work that is still to, it's still being done. The green is indicating work that is already done. It's redundant. You'll get all of these in the clipboard that you see at the top, the red clipboard. And you can click on one of the classes that I've done. And you'll see here I'm showing all the work that's being handed in in this particular class, grade 5C. And I'm going to choose Umar. And I'm going to choose a piece of work that he's done. So let's have a look. We're going to click on Umar. And when you open up his work, you click on the icon. And then the work will then be displayed. Here you see Umar's work in front of you. And in this section over here, the teacher would fill a comment in indicating what they noticed, how they can assist the learner with the work. Over here is something rather interesting. You'll find it in the admin section and you click on this icon over here. It's called, it's going to give you the scores of a particular activity. So you'll have a whole class list. You go to choose who you want to extract marks from. And I'm going to choose just 5A because that's the class that Uma's in. If I click, I check that box. And then I'm going to go to the next button at the bottom. And then you will just designate the particulars over here with the dates. And click on the purple button, button at the bottom. And you're going to find an Excel spreadsheet is going to be exported or downloaded onto your laptop. Or, and you will be able to then have a look at the way the children have done and the marks that they've achieved. You'll also see your comments on it as well. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope it's been useful. I urge you please to subscribe and assist 
And if there's any problems, please do approach me and I'd be more than willing to assist you with any further developments to start using Purple Mash more because I think it's a wonderful tool and it's so much going to help you with your improving your teaching.